All right, Flint. Would you rather win the Bassmaster Classic or catch the world record bass? Bassmaster Classic? Bassmaster Classic. I could care less about a 22 pound bass. You wouldn't like to catch a 23 pound bass? Oh, I'd like to catch it, but man. Bassmaster Classic's way better. Why? Uh, just everybody remembers that. I mean, who remembers? Not many people remember who caught the world record bass. Yeah, who caught so. the world record bass? I mean, who, do you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> Some Japanese guy? Yeah. On a live bluegill. Was it on a live bluegill? Yeah. He beat about one ounce. All right, Christian, would you rather win the Bassmaster Classic or catch the world record bass? Classic. Like, because, like, me and Joe, camera guy, we were just talking about it in the truck. Like, what drives us, especially this group here, is just tournament fishing. It's not just, like, we all like fishing, but it's, like, the tournaments that really gets us going. So, to win the Classic, that's the biggest tournament there is, and that's what we all work for. That's what all drives us, is to win these tournaments, to compete in these tournaments. So, definitely the Classic on that one. Well, I didn't yeah. know that's the kind of answer you wanted. <laughs> I mean, that's what, I, that's what we grew up watching on TV is the classic. Classic. So, uh, it's what you always dreamed of. Yeah. It's like tomorrow, like, when I catch enough fish, to, I know I got a check, I'm going to be screaming. So, imagine, imagine the classic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just well, making, like, at this point right now, just, like, making a 50 cut is, like, is pretty exciting. So, winning the top tournament of... <laughs> <laughs> Just making just making cuts is is pretty exciting. Hopefully one day like one of us will win, and then it, we're like making a movie about this, and then you can get the same footage. Oh, yeah. oh that'd be so that'd be sick. So cool. Yeah, that'd be Make so like a little movie out of yeah. it. Yeah, that'd be dope. Well, go ahead and win the classic one of you two. <laughs> classic or Red Crest if we. I'll film it. On the MLF route. <laughs> I'll take either I'll one. <laughs> Bobby Bakewell. Joe Carter. Would you rather win the Bassmaster Classic? or catch the world record bass? Well, not to be a follower, but probably the classic because- Get out of here. Because uh, <laughs> world rep, my reasoning behind it, not because I'm following people, is just because world record, you know, people wouldn't know your name, but they know the fish. Like the world record, I mean, like that 25 pounder that dude caught, but he snagged it, Dottie, he was 25. People know the name of the fish, but they don't know the dude. Or at least I don't. No, that's a good point. And um, like the classic, you go down in history, and you win three hundred grand. <laughs> you win three hundred grand. I mean, your name's on a trophy. No, I, I, can I add something? Oh uh, yeah, no, 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 no yeah, you know, not to be greedy about money or anything, but 300 grand goes a long ways. And you get that fat trophy, and you go down in history as that classic champion. And if you, you catch the world record bass, I mean, in all, due, all reality, you know, you caught the world record bass, don't get me wrong, but, like, you'll, you might get some baits out of it. People telling you trying to I bet you try and sell these baits. Yeah, you'd maybe get some money. But like, here's the thing, with the world record bass, literally any person that bass fishes could catch a world record bass. On, Facts. Facts. I mean, probably only a certain amount of bodies of water that it would actually be yeah. in. Yeah, of course. But anybody could do that. To win the Bassmaster Classic, there's so many steps in front of that to lead up to the Bassmaster Facts. Classic. You gotta win. qualify. Yeah. You gotta yeah. quali for you gotta qualify for the or well, I guess there's a couple different ways to qualify for the classic, but the typical way you qualify for the elite, so that means you had to fish the opens. So that means before the opens, you probably fish club tournaments, junior tournaments, whatever it is. So there's all these steps building up to that. Facts. Whereas the world record bass, anybody, a 10 year old could go cast out something and catch a 23 pound bass Facts. if it's his lucky day. Yeah. I mean, that is that is a true statement. That's kind of like I'm hoping I got tomorrow. I'm gonna get to cast <laughs> out there and catch, catch a 23 pounder. Dude. <laughs> Be that. Okay, question for you. <laughs> yes, I do trim my armpit hair. Yes. All right. Would you rather win? We've talked about this already, but would you rather win Classic. the Bassmaster Classic? Classic. Or catch the world record fish? Classic. Why? Nobody care. Who who caught the world record? We don't even know. I don't know. I don't care. 
I don't, I don't care. I want to win the classic. Classic. Don't talk to me. <laughs> All right. Don't talk to me. Classic. About it. What's your worst fishing injury, Christian? Mm, I don't know. Probably just being hooked. I've been hooked a, quite a few yeah, times. Yeah, that's what I was like, thinking of. I got hooked in the ear once. I got hooked. Ear? Yeah. Like in the lobe or in the top? I think it was like the top of my ear. Ooh. I got hooked in the ear. I still got a scar from it. And then I got... The first time I ever got hooked, it was in my hand somewhere yeah. with a, like a super thick swim jig, so that <laughs> one hurt. And then I got hooked like right next to the eye one time. That one could have been really bad. Like it just missed my eye. You got ear and toe. Freaking wild. I've been hooked in the hand a bunch of times, but... I'm trying to think. Other than getting hooked, I don't really think I've... I don't think I've hurt myself too bad. I start knocking on wood. <laughs> right. That carport used to be wood. <laughs> Same, same sentiment. We are here on the Potomac River, stop number five. It's been kind of an up and down season. Had a, had a really good finish on Clark's Hill, but the rest of the year just has been kind of, not that I haven't been on any fish. I mean, I feel like I've been on the right fish pretty much every tournament. Just I've had some stuff not go my way, but I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna turn things around on this one. I feel like I had a pretty good practice. I like the way the Potomac sets up. Kind of Florida style. Only factor you gotta factor in is that current. But I feel like I kind of have a grasp on it. I feel like I know which areas I need to be in when the current's moving. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can do out there, but I'm really feeling good about this tournament. I think we can have a good event here, but we're gonna have to go out there and catch them. Doc talk is that the weights are a little bit low. I feel like I can probably catch 15 plus. I think it's probably gonna be around the 13 to 13 and a half pound range a day. But uh, we're shooting for a top 10. Really, we're shooting for a win. Let's go out there and catch a bag, guys. There's only like certain sections that they like to be in. What do you mean there's like certain sections they like to be in? Like there's miles of pads, but I only got bit in very specific little stretches. But wherever those, wherever they were, there was a few there. They group up pretty good. Yeah, it's hard bottom. There's hydrilla in the pad, like all around the pads. But some of the pads will have little like indentions in them where it's just sand. And that's where the, that's where I think all the fish are sitting. You just gotta, sometimes I can see them. If the sun gets up, I can see like the little indentions. But other than that, you just gotta flip in them and just hope that you landed in one of them or close enough to where a fish sees it. The water's clear. So if you get it close enough, the fish will see it drop down through there. Let's go. A solid one for number one. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I slapped you? Yeah. <laughs> On the boat flip? Yeah. <laughs> Three pounder. really feel any movement I just I just kind of yeah he's there Good. was a fish came back for it <laughs> kind of a skinny one two and a quarter yeah, he's real Big 
head. I know, he should be a, probably a three pounder. I bet he's about as big as that last yeah. one. Yes, that's a good one. Gosh, look how skinny he is. He's that should be a four pounder. <laughs> Still a good one over three, I bet. You think? Just a little bit over three. Gosh, that should be a really good one right there. It's a bonus fish though. The tide's not even rolling. chunk maybe that tide's starting to move because that's three bites pretty quick two and a quarter what's that give you like 10 pounds almost 11 I saw that one move back there. <laughs> Not a big one, but he's number five. Quarter. He might go too. We'll get rid of him in the next 10 minutes though. <laughs> two. Give me what, around 13 pounds? <laughs> just under 1281, just under 13. Wasn't wrong, told you. I said I'd call that one out in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> He's not much of a help, though. 2 2. He'll probably be the next one to go. Two two five. Will that be at? Probably right at 13. 1294. Should help a little bit. Yeah, it's, that one's got to be close to three. Yeah. Two seventy-eight. What's that put you at? Thirteen and a half. They're all just so skinny. They really are. Yeah. I caught a couple that had had some girth to them. But these ones, these ones all today. I think that first one I caught was a little bit fatter, but these last couple have all just been 
any post spawners. 31. Nice shot. Thank you. We'll see, I think Catch Commander says 13 and a half. I bet they'll weigh high 13s on the MLF scale, so. I think I'll be sitting in okay shape, but I'm just gonna have to catch them again tomorrow. That's just what I haven't been able to do the rest of the season besides Clark Hill is put together a day two bag, but the way the fish are biting, the way the current's moving tomorrow, I think I'll be able to catch at least another 13 and a half pounds just doing the same thing. And then I got the longer day, so maybe Maybe in the afternoon, that incoming tide again makes them bite, because after that incoming tide came in and then the, the first 30 minutes hour of the outgoing tide, it was just pretty much dead for me. So that incoming tide seems to be the deal for the fish that I'm on. Christian's favorite restaurant in the whole entire world. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's it's up there with uh, well, We're at Texas Roadhouse, but I think I favor Longhorn and Outback. I don't know Texas Roadhouse It's and, we go uh, there every every well, that's because they just have them everywhere <laughs> But Texas I would say Texas Roadhouse and Outback are right there around each other and then Longhorns just a little bit better What did we have last night? Texas Roadhouse <laughs> <laughs> Day two had 14 yesterday, sitting one ounce shy of the cut. Everybody caught him. I'm gonna have to catch him again today. Feel like I can catch him again. I'm gonna keep the flipping stick in my hand. Really feel like 15 plus is uh, is what we can do today. That's all I gotta say. 15 plus. We're gonna make the cut. Let's do it. Waiting in line. What's the plan this morning? Starting off flipping like I did yesterday. Caught one of my decent fish, a three pounder, right off the bat, kind of when the tide was just ending the incoming tide. So we got like 30 minutes longer of incoming tide today. Should be able to get a couple bites. Just had one come off right here, like two pounder. But another guy started on the stretch that I started on yesterday, so I'm pushed back a little bit further. I think there's still some fish around this area too. I'd like to be on that other stretch, but just gotta fish what we got in front of us. So, hopefully we can pick up a few fish kind of first thing this morning before that tide slacks. And then really, I think my good bite window is gonna be when that tide starts going out. Do one of those days where we gotta go one at a time. Yep. You hit the side of the boat. What are you? Two pounds even. That's a big one. Oh, he's got a big head. Three quarter. Yep. <laughs> Two and three quarter. Yep. Oh, it's actually a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, 
Why do they have to be so skinny though? Jeez. Pound and three quarter. <laughs> nah, he's bigger than that. <laughs> 234. Not enough. Still got a lot of work to do. Just a little one, but we got five. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Little guy. How we need to get rid of him. We need to get rid of that YouTube channel. <laughs> I live up here, so it's like my favorite spot. I saw that channel. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Bobby out in front of him? Gosh, look how skinny he is. He'll help a little. I mean, that should be a three pounder. The head is large. Over two and a quarter. Does it call anything? Yeah, it calls a two pounder. Off the call clip. <laughs> Number 50, baby. Made the top 50 cut. Thought I was gonna finish one spot out, but they just finished weighing and we are number 50. Just squeaked by by an ounce. Thought I was gonna be the one man out. <sighs> That's how the season's been going. Been just missing the cut at every event. But we made it on this one just barely. Every single fish mattered so big today. Weights are so tight. Thank you, Jesus, we made it in. We are fishing day three. I don't even care what we catch tomorrow now. I'm just gonna go out there, <laughs> have fun. I mean, I wanna catch a bag, don't get me wrong. I wanna catch a bag for sure. But uh, I am just so happy to make the day three cut because I thought I was definitely out after the day we had today. Dinner's on Christian. <laughs> Dinner can be on me. Here, wait, oh, we're getting Dairy Queen tonight. Oh, we're, we're getting, getting Dairy, Dairy Queen, Queen tonight. Yeah. He told me I couldn't have it last night. Yep, I told Joe, no Dairy Queen until a cut is made. So, I think we're gonna get a little bit of Dairy Queen tonight. Let's go. Let's go. 